sham marriages, bogus marriages, suspect marriages, whatever you call them, are on the increase. Sham marriages are nothing new to the Asian community and other communities seeking the quickest route to permanent residency and a better life in the UK. There are agents who arrange marriages for visas and these shams have been so successful that sometimes entire families have been brought over. We sent Raj Mehta to take a closer look. Marriages are meant to be about love and commitment, although marriages have now taken a turn for the West and is now a full-blown illegal trade, where people are entering into marriages for a 50-50 benefit of permanent British residency and money. The brides are often from the new EU countries such as Slovenia, Bulgaria and Romania, and grooms-to-be are Asian, and some of the brides are shockingly British citizens. They pay the brides money in exchange for marriage. When those that have married have stayed together for at least two years, they receive permanent residency, and then they normally divorce and are ready to marry again to, say, another immigrant. This is clearly abuse of the UK border agency's regulation of the marriage system. Asians, payments, marriage and divorce all go together hand in hand in sham marriages. The marriages take place based upon personal gain for both parties and has become an illegal trade. A bride or groom wants money and the person they are marrying wants permanent British residency. This has become a common trade in which Asians participate. Generally, we could say that we have seen a rise of uh, Pakistani citizens, as, as mentioned, marrying uh, EU citizens, uh, and they would be one of the groups, um, uh, to some extent, some of the Indian uh, marrying uh, Portuguese or, again, EU citizens. Um, but that's not to say that there's other nationalities as well that have increased, but we would say that would be one of the groupings. Since last year, the number of sham marriages has gone up with a 22% increase. So why has this increase been taking place? There is a scheme which is in place which does repel sham marriages, and the scheme requires that all those that are foreigners to the UK acquire a certificate of approval before they marry or register in a civil partnership. Every foreigner is held accountable when getting married. They have to initially inform the government and then produce a certificate for marriage with government approval. This scheme is opposed by human rights activists and the UK border agency say it will soon be scrapped by late 2010 or early 2011. The process of a sham marriage can often be intricate, with Asian sham marriages operating on the level of organised crime. Gangs obtain money from the immigrant and introduce them to a wife or husband of British or most likely of EU nationality. And then they are then paid in instalments before the marriage, for the marriage taking place and after the marriage. It seems that EU national women have been opting to become a wife for large sums of money, averaging around £20,000. The immigrant has to reapply for a dependent visa after the marriage and it is given for two years only. The time frame in which the couple must remain married for the immigrant to be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain. The shocking part is that some of these couples don't even live together. Sham marriages, I mean marriage is, is an institution that really has been the cornerstone of our societies for you know, thousands of years. And when it's abused in this way, that's not in the interests of, of immigrants already here, of, of the population, the Brits who've always been here, or whoever. I mean, that is just something that should not happen. And the more, more we can do to, to stop it, the better. With these Asian sham marriages increasing daily, the public are going to turn to the government to see what they do about this. The government are going to take a tougher stance on immigration certainly with talks of an immigration cap coming about. Although for the moment the government can do nothing about sham marriages. We wanted to know if the government treat these marriages as a crime. There have been raids in the past on sham marriages. Not particularly. I mean, we, we tend not to, to break the figures down because a crime is a crime. So uh, it doesn't matter who's committing it, where, you know, what their origin is, you know, it's a crime. Um, but it's not, uh, the statistics tell us, particularly um, an Asian-related problem. I suppose the, the biggest generalisation you can make is that the, the fake brides tend to be uh, from uh, Central and Eastern Europe. But that, that's the biggest common factor. The EU nationals marrying these Asian immigrants for money are helping the immigrants to live within the UK permanently. 
This is illegal and it has to be questioned where the loyalties of the EU and the British nationals lie. And what is the UK border agency going to do about this increase in sham marriages? It shouldn't go ahead. They should be actually stopped as before they come in. Oh, before due entries. It's out of order. Getting married for, for a reason, for like living here, it's not good. But getting married for real when you, you know you want a family and to settle down, that's okay. It's illegal. And um, we cannot know really what the person, who the person that married to them is going to do to them. Because the government would not know. It can't be stopped because you can't really stop it because you won't know how it's you fake or real. That, yeah, obviously. Yeah, if they want to come here, they stay there. The law they stay here, have a fake marriage and live here. Be, well, what if they go home and they got things that they can't do at home and they get in trouble, this, that? It's a good reason. I'm saying it's nothing wrong with that. Not good, it's not fair. Um, it's wrong, basically, isn't it? It's wrong for other people as well. Uh, obviously, it's illegal, I'm guessing as well and they're probably not happier anyway they're doing it just for money on just to stay in the country so it's not it's not very good i don't think it's right though it's it's, it's just crap though it's just it's not right you know because um i mean obviously if they say you can't come to the country right yeah. what's the point of trying to force yourself to get in the country and you want to marry someone yeah you might not even love them you know what i'm saying yeah and you're going to marry them just to stay in the country and afterwards you're going to divorce them you know what i'm saying it's disgusting. I was born here and raised here. I don't get any benefit. I work like double shifts. It's disgusting, seriously. I think the, the immigration service should just get them all sent back. It's just a pressure on society. I don't think that's a good idea, really. I mean, I think if they take part in sham marriages, they, that means they're coming here really under an illegal, sort of on a legal basis, really. So I, I'm not in favour. It seems as long as there are Asian immigrants with money for marriage, there will continue to be a trade for sham marriages. It seems EU nationals are the immigrants' marriage in heaven, for now anyways. And it remains to be seen what the government does about this trade, which has been going on for many years, and having been fuelled by the new EU country's membership.